Hello the internet and welcome to my channel. Today I have a PlayStation 4 which I've collected locally for just £25, which is about $30. It could be a lemon or it could be a bargain. What will it be? Let's take a look. So I'm told this PlayStation 4 is working, it's just overheating. So it could be an easy thing or maybe that's what they told me to sell it to me. I've got power connected, HDMI cable, Let's try and power it up and see if it works. Okay, well, the good news is the PlayStation does work. And the, I would say the other good news, it sounds like there's a faulty fan inside. It's, it's mooing at me. <laughs> so I guess that's exactly the reason why the thing is overheating. And clearly because the fan is not working, I guess it will, the system will try to speed it faster and faster until I guess this thing will just take off. So let's switch it off. Uh, let's open it up and let's have a look at what's wrong with this fan. Okay, well, here's the fan and let me show you. So the fan is not broken, but it looks like probably the bearings have gone. Yeah, it's rattling, it's loose inside. So I would say let's try and remove this fan and, and let's inspect it a bit closer. I'm a bit disappointed to see that the owner opened the thing and uh, just uh, didn't care to put back the screws. Uh, anyways, let's remove this fan and see what we can do for it. Right, definitely this chip needs new thermal paste because it's pretty dry. It's not completely dry, but it's very dry. So that will definitely help. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at this thing. What is, oh my gosh. Oh, that's disgusting. Look, it's a wall of... Ah! <laughs> it's disgusting. There's a carpet in here. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Look, I can make a, a duvet out of this. Oh, horrendous. No wonder the thing was overheating. I don't know. I, don't, I mean, the fan is faulty, but this is clearly not going anywhere. Ugh, horrendous. Okay, we finally got to the fan. Let me <laughs> try and remove a little bit of dust here. Right, and yes, it's definitely faulty. I can feel it's rattling when I'm turning it. I guess replacement can be ordered. I do have another couple of PlayStations which I <laughs> have been on my pipeline for a long time. So maybe I'll just borrow one from them because none of them is working. And then again, if I ever fixed the other two, I would just buy another one. I'm just curious to see whether there's any way I can, I don't know, grease this thing. I doubt it, but I would like to take a look. Okay, so I've done a little search and it looks like this fan cannot be disassembled without destroying it. To be honest, I don't think I can do anything because I don't know if I can show you, but the, the bearing or whatever, the sleeves, whatever it's inside, is completely worn out. So <laughs> again, it's not noisy because it needs lubricant, I feel. It's just noisy because whatever it's inside has worn out and it, it just needs replacement. These things are not designed to be taken apart and fixed. Again, um, I have these two PlayStations which are waiting to be repaired if ever I can do that. So I just borrow one of the fans, which seems to be working totally fine. So I would say let's uh, clean this disaster and put this back together with whatever screws I have. And uh, I should have a working PlayStation 4, which is great because uh, I don't have a PlayStation 4, I have a PlayStation 3. So that would be a long awaited upgrade to my PS3.
Um, this is another one. I did ask the seller if they had opened the PlayStation to try repair. They they told me, well, we only opened the lid and just um, blow some compressed air. But obviously that's not the case because all the screws are missing. This is damaged. Now, thankfully, they didn't make it to the motherboard because that was clearly untouched, uh, which is, I would say, it's important. But it's disappointing that I did ask and then you get PlayStation, which I paid very little, fair enough. But I did ask and then you get something which is missing all the screws. Okay, it's back in one piece. Uh, I know that like three quarters of the screws are missing and I'm not sure the, the Blu-ray play will work with that kind of damaged cable. The other good news is, again, I've got spares <laughs> somewhere around, so maybe I can make a one good PlayStation at some point. But I would say let's test it first. Uh, there's no reason why it shouldn't work, but let's make sure the fan works, the machine completely works, and then I, I guess I'll just uh, put one together with all the best parts I've got. Okay, three, two, one, go. No, eh? Ah, fair enough. And it's spinning. Well, fun is definitely spinning. That's my first PlayStation 4, so this is for me. I just keep it for myself. I haven't got anything to use it, so I guess I'll have to download. There must be some demos or something that you can download. Uh, the next step would be to test it. I can definitely feel the air blowing out of the PlayStation. The fan is spinning slowly, which means hopefully the temperatures are fine. And I'll test it a bit, I'll try and play something on it, and then I'll let you know, you know, I'll come back and let you know if this is working totally fine or not. Okay, right, I, it looks like there are a couple of small issues to be sorted on this PlayStation before I can call it a day. And it's something to do with the Blu-ray drive. It's a pretty common issue where the, the rubber rollers, which are responsible for drawing in the disc, they probably got dusty and they don't work very well. So let's see what happens. I mean, eventually works, but clearly it's not supposed to work like that. The disc is being recognized, which is great. And the same happens when I'm ejecting the disc. Uh, it should be kind of an easy fix, but that implies removing the, the Blu-ray, accessing those rollers and, uh, and clean them. So let's uh, give it a go. Right, so these are the rubber rollers in question. And what I like to do, I like to remove the top panel so I can um, give a clean inside. Because to be honest, I saw dust bunnies inside this thing when I, when I blow some compressed air. So I'll remove the top panel and give it a good clean and inspect the laser head as well. Probably I'll clean the, the laser optics as well. Right, here we are inside the drive. It's definitely a bit dusty, so I definitely would like to service this drive a bit. See, there's quite a lot of dust around, and most importantly, I see quite a lot of dust on those um, rails. So I'll give them a clean and a little lubrication with some, uh, I guess, with some oil. And since I'm here, obviously, I'll clean the optics of the laser as well. But most importantly, I need to clean these rollers. There's nothing wrong with them, it's just they get dusty and they don't apply any traction on discs anymore. Now for these rollers I'm not going to use alcohol. Uh, alcohol and rubber sometimes don't work very well together, so I'm going to use like a generic household multi-surface cleaner. That should be, hopefully, it's going to be better.
Well, the drive is back, so let's test it out and let's see if it works. Perfect, it works absolutely perfectly. The final issue I've had with this PlayStation is I can't get the eject button to work when the cover is on. Now, as you clearly noticed, the button works when I touch it, this is, I think it's a capacitive button, but unfortunately, when, um, when the cover is on, it doesn't work. Uh -huh, so it's working now, I didn't do anything, I just, I, it's impossible to show you on camera. I, I basically put back the lid, paying a bit more attention on where that little metal clip was going. So it's definitely working, this is the eject button, and that's it. So then I guess this PlayStation is ready to go. I've noticed that there aren't videos online on how to actually fix a fan, probably because they cannot be disassembled, so I decided to try something here. Now, I do not recommend doing this, as it's more or less pointless. The bearing is gone and a replacement is needed. However, just for the sake of curiosity, I thought of drilling the top of the fan to try to access the shaft and add some lubricant. When drilling the very top, I immediately found some metal, so I decided to drill on a side instead. And that worked. I think I can see the gap where the bearing is, or more likely the sleeves for this fan. So I put some oil and also some grease spray in there. Hopefully that reached the actual shaft. Well, I don't know for how long, but it worked. The fan now spins and no more cows. Well, this PlayStation works totally fine and I've been using it a little bit. The fan is pretty slow and it's pretty quiet, so I'm pretty happy with it. Now, would you believe that? But I got in touch with the seller of the PlayStation and basically said, hey, you didn't put all the screws back, you know, you could have mentioned that. And uh, this gentleman drove to my place to return the missing screws of the PlayStation. <laughs> I'm pretty impressed, to be honest. Thank you very much if you are watching this video. At this point, what I'd like to do, I'd like to replace all the missing screws, give the PlayStation a, a good clean, and at that point, you know, make this a perfectly working and nice looking PlayStation 4, why not? So I'll, um, I'll give the case a wash, and then we'll replace all the screws, and then it's good to go. For the shiny plastic cover, I decided to try some polishing compound. This is T-Cut. It worked when testing, so I did the whole part. The end result could be better with a bit of extra elbow grease, but it's so much better than it was before. Right, it's come out pretty good, <laughs> it looks pretty nice. The only downside is now I've got like polishing compound on my shirt, I hope it comes off. But anyways, I'm pretty happy with this. It was a simple repair, but I completely appreciate that not everybody's capable of doing that. I know there are many, many videos online about cleaning the PlayStation 4. I hope this helps someone who wants to embark in the adventure of disassembling the PlayStation 4. My advice is, Take your time, watch some tutorials, because it's, it's pretty easy, especially those ribbon cables, they're pretty fragile. Well, what's left to do is just to get some PlayStation 4 games and game on this, even though I'm not a big gamer, so I've got a racing game already and I've ordered Doom, because I played the demo and I surprisingly liked it, so I just, uh, I decided to just uh, start playing it. But time will tell. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd appreciate the thumbs up down below and consider subscribing to this channel if you like what I'm doing here. For now, thanks for watching. I wish you a great day and I hope to see you again soon here on my channel for my next videos. Thank you very much and goodbye. Bye-bye.